Hey, crypto friends, for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today, guys, we are going to learn all about a DeFi platform called Flamingo Finance from a complete beginner's perspective, all right? And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, if you are interested in trading and would like to try the same exchange that I use on a daily basis, feel free to go ahead and try out the Maxi Crypto Exchange. You can find a link to it in the description below the video. Um, I personally like this exchange simply because one, I've been using it for the last three years. It has been been absolutely wonderful to me. Um, they do not deal with all of the same BS drama that all the big mainstream exchanges deal with on a regular basis, like Binance and Coinbase and stuff. So that's kind of nice. In addition, they've got over 1,500 different altcoins to trade, and I'm a huge altcoin nerd, so that's why I personally like it. So anyway, before I actually go ahead and get started into this video, I do want to point something out here real quick. Um, I want to point out that this video is not intended to be a deep dive into the project, okay? It's literally Literally all a part of my altcoin education series where I talk about hundreds of different altcoins from a complete beginner's perspective, simply so that beginners in the crypto space who don't have time to learn on their own um, can easily learn from listening to the video in their spare time, all right? Because um, quite frankly, there's a lot of people who simply just don't have time to learn on their own because they've got, you know, other things going on in their lives like work and kids and all kinds of other stuff. So they just simply don't have time so they can listen to the video and kind of just get a general idea for what what the project's all about. All right. So the uh, first, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to start off with, um, you know, here's the thing. All right. As we can clearly see, all right, Flamingo Finance is an extremely low market cap project. Okay. Now, if you're familiar with my videos, you already know I talk about I, in a lot of my videos, I talk a lot about, you know, in, uh, investing into projects that are low in market cap. All right. So here's the thing, right? This project is extremely low in market cap. It's got a market cap right now of 27, roughly about $27 million right now, as we can see. Um, so it's got a low market cap. And for those of you who are familiar with hodling, low cap altcoins like this, they usually make pretty darn decent gains in bull markets. So definitely you don't want to be sleeping on a project like this, okay? Um, especially since it is a DeFi platform as well. Um, and, you know, with all of the uncertainty going on around right now with all the different centralized exchanges and stuff lately, many of these types of DeFi platforms, um, especially ones like this one, um, are literally starting to gain quite a bit of traction, to be honest with you. All right. So, all right, enough of the actual boring stuff. So now I'm going to actually get into the actual project itself. All right. So if you haven't noticed already, uh, Flamingo is pretty much a decentralized, it, it's pretty much here. Let me get up here real quick. I'll go to their main, 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 uh, main website here. All right. So realistically here, um, Flamingo is literally just nothing more than a decentralized finance platform, uh, pretty much based on the NEO blockchain and the poly network interoperability uh, protocol as well. And it basically combines several DeFi applications into a single ecosystem, um, such as a cross-chain asset gateway, um, an on-chain or an, you know, an on-blockchain uh, liquidity pool, pretty much a swapping mechanism. Um, and they also have, you know, a blockchain asset vault as well, and a perpetual contract trading platform as well, and also a DAO. Um, so yeah, that's pretty nice. So in addition to all of this, as I, you know, as I mentioned a little bit ago, Flamingo Finance is powered by NEO. Okay. We can clearly see that right here. All right. Which is pretty interesting here. All right. So here's the thing. All right. The project is powered by NEO, which for those of you who aren't familiar with NEO, NEO is literally an OG blockchain um, that's been around since 2016. So it's pretty darn cool, in my opinion, to you know see new projects like this utilizing their tech. So that is pretty darn cool, to be honest with you, because we rarely ever hear about the NEO, or about the NEO ecosystem. So this is pretty cool. Um, so, all right, enough of that. Who the hell is in charge of this project, right? Well, guys, the founder of Flamingo Finance is actually founded by a dude named Da Hongfei. <laughs> All right. I have, a, I have a huge issue with uh, trying to pronounce um, uh, like Asian culture names and stuff like that. So I apologize if I'm saying it a little wrong here, but um, I'm pronouncing it as Dong, <laughs> Da Hongfei. Um, and for those of you who don't already know who know who this guy is, he's a Chinese entrepreneur who also found he, he he's actually the founder of the NEO blockchain, and he has also co-founded OnChain as well, uh, which is pretty much a private blockchain services company also. So now, as far as the actual project itself is concerned, you guys, 
Um, Flamingo positions itself pretty much as a singular platform that combines, you know, multiple uh, decentralized finance tools uh, for the NEO ecosystem into a common ecosystem that will be governed by, you know, its overall users utilizing the DAO or, you know, decentralized autonomous organization, all right? Um, so now for those of you who may not be familiar, uh, DeFi is pretty much a fast growing trend in the cryptocurrency industry right now. Actually, it has been for quite a few years now, actually, but um, it's picking up a lot of hype right now because of, you know, as I was mentioning earlier of, you know, all of the centralized tech pla or centralized blockchain platforms, you know, kind of mm, people are having trust issues with them because of the whole FTX deal. All right. Um, so here's the thing. All right. Um, DeFi is the overall, overall, you guys, DeFi is a fast growing trend in the cryptocurrency industry that basically encompasses the idea of eliminating third parties um, and singular points of failure, you know, from financial systems. Um, and just to give you some, you know, statistical data here, DeFi emerged in early 2019, pretty much. Um, and by mid 2020, the DeFi industry had already boasted over $4 billion, you guys, four billion in locked collateral assets that is huge all right and literally just a span of like one and a one like 1 1.2 years all right that is enormous okay that just goes to show you that people really enjoy their privacy okay people want to be able to control and have control over their own finances without having a third party intermediate inter uh, intermediary in the way all right so that overall you know just goes to show all right so in addition, as most of us already know, some of the main use cases in DeFi or decentralized finance are, you know, cryptocurrency lending. Um, we got crypto, we got lending, we've got yield farming, we've got decentralized exchanges um, or DEXs for short, if you've heard of that term. Um, however, the thing here is, is, uh, you know, for most cryptocurrencies and their respective, you know, DeFi environments, um, each of these solutions is usually provided by a single separate platform, all right? However, with Flamingo's unique advantage, Flamingo's unique advantage definitely comes from the fact that, you know, it's pretty much aiming to combine all of the key financial instruments for the NEO cryptocurrency token, such as, you know, like token wrapping, uh, liquidity pooling, um, asset vault, and, you know, you know, contract trading, and, you know, make them all available um, via, you know, pretty much a single platform here that will simply be governed by its users in a decentralized way, which is very, very nice. Like I was saying before, people want privacy. People want to be able to control their own stuff. Okay. And that's kind of plays a huge role in all of this, in this whole D in this whole DeFi picture. Um, so, um, as you guys can clearly see, we are looking at the roadmap here right now as well. So they are clearly on top of their shit also, and they are constantly building as well. So this is really, really good. They have really good to see also, you guys. Um, let me just go ahead and check something out here real quick. Um... Okay, I'm not seeing what I'm looking for, so never mind. Um, all right, so overall here, though, you guys, Flamingo Finance is definitely building a truly unique platform for the NEO ecosystem that, you know, we really haven't seen much of yet, which is pretty darn cool, um, you know, in all honesty, uh, since we honestly don't hear much about the NEO ecosystem very much at all. So any, anyway, you guys, with that said, you know, hey, um, that's going to pretty much do it for this video. So I will go ahead and wrap this one up. But again, guys, hey, before you guys leave, um, go ahead, if you haven't already, go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me on a regular basis. And hey, guys, with that said, thanks again for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the comment section down below of my future videos.